Hello, my friends. This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, we're going to cover how do you get a customized title to, you know, show dynamic data in a filtered dashboard when you've got worksheet or dashboard actions, which are taking you from one dashboard to another in Tableau. Okay. So let me start by showing you what I've got set up here. Um, I've got a kind of primary dashboard where you're looking at number of visits by year and hospital. And then we're gonna set up an action so you can click on a hospital here and that'll take you to a secondary dashboard which will show you the details for that hospital, okay? Uh, I'm gonna drop a link to this uh, Tableau workbook in the description. So if you wanna download this and try it out for yourself, then you can, all right? Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, start by creating a dashboard action. So there's the dashboard drop down on my toolbar and I select actions. I'm going to say add action, and this will be a filter action. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll call this our hospital filter. And what we're going to do is uh, source sheets. That's fine. Visits by hospital. I'm going to set it to be based on select for now. And then the target sheet, I'm going to switch this to the other dashboard. So hospital profile. Um, so I'm going to set it to say show all values when the selection is cleared. Okay. So let me show you what this does now. So I'll say, okay. And okay. So if we click on one of these, like Alaska native medical center, it's now filtering this dashboard here to Alaska native medical center. However, it doesn't tell us that anywhere. So we probably want that to be reflected somewhere, maybe in our worksheet or our dashboard titles. So we're going to look at how could you get this dashboard title to update to include uh, the hospital that you filtered to. Uh, notice that I cannot select the field name here because this hospital profile object, this is just a standard text object. In order for an object to be able to be dynamic, it, there's a few exceptions to this, but it typically needs to be a worksheet, okay? So we're actually gonna go through two different methods uh, on how to do this. So let's jump into number one, which is creating a custom calculation, okay? So with something like a custom calculation, uh, what I'll do is create a calculated field and I'll call this thing selected hospital. Okay. Uh, currently, the way that our action is set up, somebody could select multiple hospitals. So that's gonna be something for us to think about. Here's a calculation that could work for us. I'm gonna say if min hospital name uh, equals max hospital name, then min hospital name. Okay else all hospitals, okay? So let me talk you through what we're doing here and then we're actually gonna make some adjustments and beef this calculation up a little bit as well. Uh, okay, so first of all, what is this first line saying? It's basically just saying, if there's only one hospital selected, tell us the name of that hospital. If the minimum hospital, which is like Alaska, native hospital, if that's the same as the maximum hospital, then just tell us the minimum hospital name. Otherwise, say all hospitals. So we could do this if we set that dashboard action to be single select only. So actually, let's, let's start with that, that's fine. So I will say, okay, let me put selected hospitals on text here. Okay, I need to do a little formatting to make this actually look like a worksheet title. So let me set this to entire view. Um, let me go ahead and select text on the marks card and click the little ellipses here. Um, and I'll say hospital profile four, okay. Let's beef this up. Let's make this thing 18 font. Let's make it dark. Let's make it centered. I might need to do the alignment here in the text object and the marks card as well. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, let me edit this again. I'm gonna make the selected hospital section bold. So that stands out a little bit. I get a tooltip, which is kind of funny. So let's go ahead and just go to the tooltip section. Oh, popped up on my second screen, pulled it over here. Deselect show tooltips. I'll say, okay. All right, um, yeah, this should work pretty well for us. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna drag this to the top of my worksheet. Let's get rid of our standard text object. Let's hide the title for this worksheet that we just dragged in. Let's make sure it's tall enough that everybody can see it. Hospital profile for all hospitals, okay? So if I click on a single hospital, Alaska Native Medical Center, it should update. Hospital profile for Alaska Native Medical Center, good work. Uh, we check it out here. I've got a year or I've got an action filter, um, which is updating that hospital name. So that's cool. Um, and, and if I go back to the first, 
dashboard and deselect that single hospital. Go back to my detailed dashboard. Now it says hospital profile for all hospitals. That's accurate. Now where this is not going to work for us or where it's going to be inaccurate is if somebody selects multiple hospitals. Uh, it still says all hospitals, even though it's only four of the 20 odd hospitals. Okay. So two solutions. One solution is we only let them go see one additional hospital at a time. So the way that works is in the dashboard action. If I click on the dashboard, drop down the toolbar and go back to actions. I'm going to edit our existing action and uh, click on that again. Here we go. If I hit this checkbox here for single select only, that means that they could only drill down or only filter on one selection at a time. So that even if I selected multiple here, or actually if I select multiple, then it doesn't run the action. But if I select a single cell, like just Alaska Native Medical Center, then it will run the action. So a lot of people actually don't even know that exists. So that's kind of a cool option. But let's say I want the user to have the flexibility to select multiple hospitals, then what? So let's edit that action again and set it back so that somebody could select multiple hospitals at the same time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get update our selected hospitals calculation to do something a little different here. So let me right click and edit this. So we're gonna add an additional line here. I'm gonna say, else if the count distinct of hospital name is equal, I think if I remember this correctly, it's gonna be on the overall count distinct of hospital name. I hope I did this right. Let me see something here. <laughs> I wish I had my notes in front of me. Uh, we may have to come back and adjust this. We'll uh, we'll see how this goes here. Um, okay. Else, multiple hospitals. Um, then all hospitals. Okay, so let me talk you through what I'm trying to do here. And again, hopefully this works. We'll see. So this says same. First line is the same. If the minimum hospital name and the maximum hospital name are the same, just give me the minimum hospital name. Uh, otherwise, if the count distinct of hospital names is equal to the max uh, data source LOD, data source fix count distinct to hospital name, then all hospitals, else multiple hospitals. So what in the heck is this? Well, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say, hey, you know, uh, how many total hospitals do you have selected right now? If you actually have all 25 selected, then great, you are looking at all the hospitals. But if your count of selected hospitals is actually less than 25, then you are looking at multiple hospitals, but you're not looking at all hospitals. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, we've got some videos where we go in depth on level of detail expressions. So I'll drop those in the description below. If you want to dive into those, then you can. All right. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. Um, okay. So let's go back to our dashboard action and let's start it by just selecting a single hospital. Alaska Native Medical Center. That looks good. I go back and I deselect that. It should say all hospitals. That looks good. Okay. So now if we select multiple hospitals, it should just give us that generic multiple hospitals. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's a pretty good solution. I think uh, this is the way I used to do things. I actually got a little bit more updated and I think a little bit simpler solution for this now, um, which I'm just about to show you. Uh, before we dive into that though, I just want to point out that if you check out the info button in this top corner here, uh, we run Tableau classes every single month, Tableau desktop, Tableau prep, dashboarding, design, calculations, the basics, uh, everything. We run those classes all the time. Ollie and I would love to meet you and to dive into more detail on Tableau with you. So please do check that out. Um, we'd uh, love to have you there, okay? Um, so let me show you option two, which is what I call a custom worksheet title, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab, uh, so it's a new worksheet. I'm gonna grab my hospital name field and I'm just gonna put that on text in the marks card. It's gonna get really chaotic looking because there's just gonna be you know hospital names, just tons of them. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna edit the title of my worksheet. Uh, and so I'll say something like this, hospital profile four. And what I'm gonna do is at the drop down here and say, insert the hospital name field. Now let's try and format this so it's kind of basically the same as that other one that we were just working on. Maybe I'll make it a slightly different color just so that we can kind of differentiate these. I'll make it blue. I'm gonna make it a little darker blue. 
So currently it says hospital profile for all. Okay. Um, all right. So we go back to our dashboard now. Let's put, well, I'm actually going to have both uh, on here at the same time so we can kind of compare and contrast. So here's where it gets a little different. Uh, let me set my worksheet fit to entire view. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of scrunch this up so you can't see, like there is technically a worksheet there with like loads of hospital names. I don't actually want anybody seeing that though. So let's drag this up here. So now let's sort of compare the differences between our approaches. So with the first approach, you know, if I just click on a single hospital, like Alaska Native Medical Center, hey, these two things look basically the same, right? We go back here, uh, ID select, go into the hospital profile. Top says hospital profile for all hospitals. The bottom one just says hospital profile for all, pretty similar. And then lastly, if we select multiple, this is where I think that second option is gonna be the best. Uh, or I guess it just depends on what you want. The top option is a little cleaner because it just says hospital profile for multiple hospitals. Down below, it will actually list out, hey, these are the selected hospitals, okay? There is a cutoff, like I think after you get to like three, four or something like that, it just starts to say and more. So if I selected like, uh, how many did I select there? Like seven? Hmm. I guess it's, uh, I don't know what it's doing actually. Let's see if we make it taller, if we can continue to see that. Oh, I see. It was just getting cut off. It actually ended up becoming multi-row, but uh, you can see eventually. So it, it listed out one, two, three of them, and then it said, and six more. So you want to tinker with these approaches. Maybe one of them seems like a better fit or not. I think that top one is nice because it's a little cleaner, but it won't list out you know, a multi-selection like that bottom option will. So yeah, feel free to choose which approach seems right for you. Um, thank you so much for checking out this video and following along. Uh, we love to share tips like this about Tableau. We've been working on this tool for a decade. Uh, we help people on this all the time. We teach classes every month. We do consulting. We do one hour at a time. We do months at a time for large projects. Um, we'd love to work with you too. So feel free to reach out if you ever have any questions or are interested to get the conversation going. Uh, we drop content like this every week uh, for free here on YouTube. So feel free to follow along and we'd love to catch you on our next video. Thanks.